Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to express the given quantity as a single logarithm. So you have this whole expression here. What we're going to do is apply the rules of logarithms to get it into a single one. So the first thing is here we have one third times the natural log of x plus 2 cubed. And what we do is when we have a number on the outside of a, of a log, we can bring it in as an exponent of whatever is inside. So this is the natural log of x plus 2 cubed raised to the one-third power. We can do a similar thing here with the one-half, but first let's um, combine these two within the brackets. So we have the natural log of x minus the natural log of this squared. When you have one log minus another, and they have the same base, what you can do is say this is equal to one-half, don't forget that, but times a single logarithm of the first one divided by the second. So x squared plus 3x plus 2 squared. x plus 2 to the third power to the one third power. When you have one power to the other, you multiply them. So this is 3 times 1 third, which is just 1. So this is just x plus 2 to the first power, which is just itself. This is plus here is where we um, input the exponent, right? You have a number outside, you turn it into the exponent. Number outside, exponent to this, plus the natural log of x to the 1 half over x squared plus 3x plus 2 squared to the 1 half. And you can probably see why I did the exponent separately the numerator, and the, the numerator and the denominator, because natural log of x plus 2 plus natural log of x to the 1 half is just the square root of x. Down here, we have something squared to the 1 half. So this is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 2 to the power of 2 times 1 half, which is just 1. So it's just itself x squared plus 3x plus 2. And finally, we can combine these two. When you are adding two logs of the same base, you can multiply what's inside them within a single log. So the natural log of the square root of x times x plus 2 over x squared plus 3x plus 2. And this is the original quantity as a single logarithm. 